Now to a group we recognize for breaking new legal ground. Let me introduce you to the Slants. They're a small Asian American band from Oregon and describe their musical style as Chinatown dance rock. In 2010, the group filed a trademark request for the name The Slants. It was rejected on the grounds that it was hurtful to the AAPI community. The Slants didn't think the ruling made sense, so they took their battle for the name all the way to the Supreme Court. Our special contributor, Joey Chen, has their story. They were once known as a band that must not be named, but they've never had trouble being heard. These rockers didn't set out to be troublemakers or trailblazers in American legal history. I just wanted to be a rock star, I wanted to play music. Simon Tam isn't your stereotypical rock star, though his band now has fans around the world. They've recorded seven albums, toured in a broken down van, like rock stars. But Tam knows the shame of being othered. I was bullied as a kid, I was uh, attacked, I was, um, you know, relentlessly mocked for, for having these eyes and these kind of facial features that I, I think I kind of stepped away from my heritage. I was, I was ashamed of being like Chinese for, for many years. He was a good filial son, at least until he told his parents about his plans to leave college. I remember having this conversation with them saying like, I want to drop out of school and move across the country and play in a t punk rock band. Look, you're Chinese, I'm Chinese. How did your parents take this? Oh, my parents were not wild about this idea, <laughs> so. Still, they got behind his dream to form The Slants. That's right, he named his Asian American band The Slants. I'm gonna take this outdated, uh, backwards slur, turn it on its head, and make it a badge of pride. I wanted to start this band specifically as a way to kind of represent and share and celebrate Asian American culture. That simple goal spun into an eight-year-long legal odyssey, which began with Tam's bid to trademark the band's name. The U.S. Patent and Trade Office told you you couldn't be the slants, told you you couldn't trademark that name. They were citing this really old 70-year-old uh, law that basically says you can't register a trademark that's considered scandalous, immoral, or disparaging. Uh, that's right. A federal agency telling an Asian American what's offensive to an Asian American. I'm the only person in all of U.S. history to be denied a registration for the term. When we asked the government why, they said it was because we were too Asian to use the mark anyone can register this as long as they're not Asian. If it was a band comprised of all Caucasian people, it would not have been an issue. Tam detailed the case that led his band all the way to the nation's highest court in his book, Slanted, how an Asian American troublemaker took on the Supreme Court. I'd like to think of myself as a dreamer, but more, than often, uh, more often than not, I've been kind of identifying as a troublemaker. And as a groundbreaker. Tam is one of only a very few Asian Americans ever to have a case reach the Supreme Court. And he's the only one to have his band play on its steps. The court ultimately ruled the band can trademark the name. But the case didn't resolve who gets to decide exactly what disparaging is. Should it only be those of us who are Asian American who can determine what a slur against Asian Americans is? Those people who are impacted should be the ones that make that kind of final say of what's appropriate for them or not. You and I have grown up with them. There are any number of slurs against Asian American. Ching chong, chink, slanty eyes, all those things. Are there some names that go too far? I don't think so. The real power is not in racial slurs, it's in the institutions and systems that uphold discrimination, that uphold racism. Today, the slant sets are most often acoustic and accompanied by legal Q&A. Arguments at the Supreme Court. It was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Guitarist and songwriting partner Joe Jong sees Tam as an artist for whom the message is just as important as the music. So troublemaker, I guess, if, if you're referring to like a specific law that he has to fight against. But the person that I know is someone who works harder than anybody else I know 
and someone who's more persistent and stubborn. And determined to use his power as a troublemaker to make a difference. I have a picture of us, and you're wearing the Chinatown Swagger t-shirt. Chinatown Swagger is like, hey, that's what happens when you get to be your whole self. When you can show up at a place and you don't have to bring the footnotes. There's this old proverb that says the, uh, the wise will plant seeds for trees um, whose shade they will never uh, enjoy. Sorry if you take offense. Maybe we were like planting these seeds all along. Planting the seeds for the next generation making music and creating authentic identity. For the listening tour, I'm Joey Chan. Put it back.